This video is on drilling holes in the Italio glass tiles. When you drill holes with the Italio tile, you want to use the pattern with the least amount of relief on the back. This will hold water better on the surface and chip less than the more textured tiles. You'll need a diamond hole bit with the pilot bit removed. I'm using a bit from Pearl Abrasives, which has a set screw that holds the pilot bit in. I've removed the pilot bit and put the set screw back so I don't lose it. This is also a good way to do it if you're doing porcelain tile because the carbide tip pilot bit really doesn't penetrate these harder materials well. Without the pilot bit, you need something to use as a guide and to keep the bit from twisting as it goes through the tile. I've taken a piece of wood flooring and drilled three one-inch holes through one piece. I drilled three holes so that I can place the template over any area of the tile without it sticking out beyond the tile. I've placed a similar piece on top of a bucket with some water in it for a stand. On top of the bottom piece of wood, I've placed some foam packing material for a cushion and the tile I want to cut on top of that. I've marked that tile with a cut that I wanted to make for an outlet cover. This was originally an attempt to find a way to cut an outlet cover out of the tile, but even cutting a radius for the two corners, we weren't able to make a successful cut for an outlet cover with this particular tile. I've marked both the top and bottom of the tile, and I'm going to start with the bottom of the tile. I place the template over the tile and line it up with my marks then clamp the template down on both sides. Before you start cutting, make sure you're wearing eye protection. Now I pour some water into the hole and begin to drill down part way through the tile. As soon as I stop seeing water come up, I stop and see how far down I've drilled. Then I pour some more water and resume drilling. Now I'm about one third of the way down, so I stop and turn the tile over. I set the template to my marks now and I can see the line where my bottom cut was made. I pour in some water and start to cut from the top down in the same way I did on the bottom. I'm pushing gently because I want to stop as soon as I break all the way through without letting the bit push down past the bottom of the tile, but might cause chipping. The final cut is nice and the small amount of chipping will easily be covered by the finished plumbing cover. So this is pretty much like anything else. If you have a good tool and know how to use it, you can get the job done with a good result. Thanks for watching and good luck with your project.